one last demonstration. This has to do with the specific heat of water. Water uh, has a specific heat of 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. What's that mean? Well, 4.184 joules is a lot of energy. Uh, and that's the amount of energy that water needs to change by one degree Celsius. That's one gram of water needing to change one degree Celsius needs 4.184 joules. It's a lot of energy. Most substances don't have specific heat that high. What that means is that water will also give off 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. So they can give off 4.184 joules if they want to change their temperature by one degree Celsius. Uh, what's that mean for the liquid nitrogen? Might not have a good chance of freezing the water balloon fully because of the high specific feed, heat, because of the high insulation factor of water. And we're going to try that out. In goes the balloon. Again, you hear bubbling because the liquid nitrogen is boiling. It's definitely not the water balloon that's boiling. Because the water balloon is uh, now being cooled off to negative 196 degrees Celsius. Quite a vigorous boil there. We're going to try and get in there and see that. Again, that's the liquid nitrogen that's boiling away, and you can see the vapor the balloon is just barely visible at the bottom there. It has sunk, so apparently water is a little bit more dense than liquid nitrogen. At least the water balloon is more dense than the liquid nitrogen. We'll leave it in there to boil for a few minutes. Okay, so as you can see, the balloon has come out of liquid nitrogen now, uh, and uh, it appears that it looks, it appears that uh, it's a solid ball of ice. The question is, did all of the liquid, liquid did all of the uh, balloon get turned into liquid water? Hollow on the inside, a little bit of water going around on the outside there. And it is quite cold. Let's see if I can actually get a reading here. Nope. 0 0.7 degrees Celsius, but I don't think that's right. Ah, that was the inside of the ball. The outside of the ball is at negative 3 Celsius. So you can see that there's a temperature differential. Negative 3 Celsius, 0 0.7 degrees Celsius. This explains why there's liquid water still on the inside. The energy from the, uh, from the water that was on the inside hasn't quite made it to the outside to the liquid nitrogen yet. Uh, whereas the energy that was on the outside had a much easier time leaving and getting to the liquid nitrogen causing it to boil.